Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dapper Vault video. My apologies for dropping off the face of the earth for just over a week. Uh, uni has started back up again and I was swamped with readings and textbooks, but I'm getting it under control again, so I'm going to get back into the videos. Today's video is going to be an explanation of the adventuring system. There is, as you're probably aware, quite a lengthy tutorial, and it does um, it, it pretty much goes over everything you could possibly need, but if you're having trouble understanding that, I'm here to help and to break it down a little bit. The first part of adventuring is the fact that the whole process is about moving along a path, encountering NPCs, which will ask you riddles, you'll answer them, you'll gain points, Often items, when you come across these little stars, they will give you sprite appearances, and if you come across a present, they'll give you uh, some kind of in-game item. Here's a riddle here, from this lovely geode sprite. Your heart I can tell, like the fires of a forge, bright it burns. Never once will you be felled. Nothing in the world is that strong, and never will you turn. This might be confusing at first, because the answer doesn't, it doesn't have any words. It just has four little symbols that you can click on. This one is related to tenacity, humans, infinity. It, it can, however, also relate to sand or the sun or stars. Many things that are yellow as well. As in the mines, you'll find a lot of yellow geode questions. This is red or honor or the cross or... It could be just animals themselves. This is charm, green, elves, swirls, in also kind of infinity because of the swirl sometimes, I think. Anything to do with nature is usually going to be green. And then this is blue. Comprehension, galactics, space, stars, the moon, and of course, mushrooms. I found mushrooms to be quite prominent in the blue one in the forest area. You use the information that you've got on the four symbols to justify your answer to the riddle. So the heart could also be related to determination and tenacity and things like that. You know, you have a strong heart, it keeps on going, it never falters once. If you do get answers correct, unlike when I met Shamir, you'll notice that these little bars in the corner will increase. So as you can see here, I've got 9, 13, 6 and 6. This means I've answered 9 tenacity riddles correctly, 13 of these. It continues to increase until you've hit this point here, in which you'll have accumulated 50 correct riddle answers for one value type. When you reach that, you're going to be given a prize. Now, I've seen a lot of different prizes reached for this. I've seen um, pet food, I've seen pet items, I've seen clothing items as well, I believe, and custom accessory items. Basically, they give you some pretty good stuff. So if you have the opportunity to, running adventuring in the background is a really great way to accumulate lots of rare items. And even if you don't need them yourself, you can chuck them on the trades market and gain quite a few potatoes. Occasionally, in between the question marks, you'll come across captures with a funny little sentence of prove you're human. Just select the items that match the object Fortunately, they don't have any colour ones, which would be tragic for me, because I am slightly colourblind. Yeah, and then you'll continue moving on slowly until you get to the next riddle. What I find possibly the most fun about riddles is the sprites themselves. Sprites have a really cool feature for customization. So if you click over here, you'll notice that you've got a sprite style, and you can choose any of these styles for your appearance. When you click on these, it goes into colors. So if I click on this, I can take this one or I can buy new colors. By purchasing new colors, you're going to use up the value points you've accumulated over here. Now, as far as I know, there is not a gameplay benefit to using these specific items. However, they do look adorable and I love them. So <laughs> I have bought one, just one, because again, I, I don't do adventuring too frequently anymore myself. They're really cute and I'm definitely thinking of getting this one next if I can manage to accumulate 20 tenacity value points. 
I've managed to get to the 50 for at least once for each of them, though I think for tenacity and comprehension I've done it twice. I've gotten quite a few good items. Again, I recommend keeping this open in the background if you want something. There's also the world function. Once you have reached a new destination on the actual quests in Dapper Vault, you'll then, in the riddles, in the adventuring section, have the option to choose a new location to travel to. Although you won't be able to choose it immediately, you have to wait for your avatar to come across a portal to the other town. So, once you're in Louise Hill, obviously you'll get a portal to Three's Forest Path once you have moved to Three's Forest, and the same works for Three's Forest to Sylvie's Mine, Sylvie's Mine to Avia Cove, etc. Something that they've introduced only recently to the game, although the game has been out for about a month now, so I suppose it's not as recent anymore, is the active mode. So once I've answered this riddle, which let's see, lifeblood, glittering grave, well, it's... oh dear. I'm going to go red because it's got the word blood in it, but that was incorrect again. You can click on this active mode button, and it counts down, and then your avatar starts sprinting. And what you've got to do is use the arrow keys or the WASD keys to move over obstacles. It's one of the most fun parts of adventuring because it's so, well, it's active unlike the background that is the normal adventuring system. You'll notice in the bottom right it says there are seven encounters left of active mode. This will usually start at eight and you'll be able to basically do the adventuring really fast and in active mode until you reach zero encounters left and that's when it will reset back to the slow draw that is normal adventuring and you'll wait quite a while for the active mode to reset. As you can see, I'm not very good at the riddles, but there is a riddle cheat sheet. Here on the Dapper Rock Wiki, edited by the people who are amazing enough to continuously edit the Dapper Rock Wiki, are, is a cheat sheet for every single riddle, pretty much, of each of the towns. So the whole of Louise Hill, it's got the riddle here, and the value point that is correct over here. And you can control F and type in the riddle. So that one that I just had, type in the word lifeblood, go to Sylvie's mine, and here it is, a glittering grave and lifeblood cured, what am I? And it's got a question of amber, but the answer is the tenacity value. That's pretty much all I have to say about adventuring. Overall, it's not like the most important part of the game, and you shouldn't feel bad if you don't do adventuring all that frequently or ever. There's bonuses, but there are not any negatives. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this explanation helped you a little bit if you were confused about any of the parts of adventuring, and I'll see you in the next one.